all right so in this lab i'm basically going to talk about multiple imputation in complex survey uh, for that i'm basically going to use the enhanced data set uh, but I um, i'm going to concentrate on a few variables where i have this id variables this um, survey feature variable and some of the covariates for my analysis and in this subset of the data i can see diabetes has some missing bmi and cholesterol has uh, more missing values i can check the missing data patterns uh, graphically and numerically i can impute the data using the mice function or i can impute the data using the parallel mice function which is a parallelized version of mice that means that um, if you have more cores in your computer you will be able to run your mice analysis much faster using this part mice all right so for this analysis I also need to uh, create a variable um, a binary variable for the cholesterol for that first uh, let me use the complete function to get the complete data set and I'm using action equals long that means that all of the five data sets will be stacked together one after another in the in one large data set and when I create the data set I can also create the cholesterol bean uh, variable there I make that variable as a uh, factor variable and here is what that data looks like you see this is the im data one um, and the cholesterol bean data is already here and then i check the um, missing data plot i can still see that diabetes was not imputed and in here when you imp imputed the data set um, it is not showing you which variables it is imputing but when you are using this mice uh, version that actually tells you which variables are being imputed uh, so it is a, always a very good idea even after the imputation to check whether it did uh, the imputation properly or not so for this case say for example um, maybe because the missing percentage was so low that uh, the parallel mice function did not really impute these diabetes uh, patient data sets also you see the bone data set has also some issues and this was for the first first imputed data when i have dot imp equal to one for the second imputed data i also have the same and when i try to check uh, which was the id of those uh, subjects i can see for the first data set and this is the part that we have done before we are basically checking who is in the data set with any missing value and who is without any missing value so in the first subset of the data we can see these are the observations with missing value 93710 and in the similarly we do the same for the second part of the data and we see the same observations 97 uh, 93710 and 362 people were not uh, imputed and 362 people were not imputed so basically these these ids are same for all of the uh, imputed data sets so none of these uh, 362 people were imputed in any of the data set so what we basically do is we basically create an index um, comparing the complete case versus the full data set and we um, assign those index index to all of the data set and we print the table in all of the data set and we see in all of the data sets 362 people were not um, assigned any diabetes or uh, bone 
uh, included the loose once we fix this once we assign this miss value inside our uh, im data um, we can combine the data set in this way using the imputation list where you have to subset the data set five different times but this is not really the most efficient way so what we can do instead of doing that we can use the im uh, imputation list but we can use the laplay function to automate the work so that we do not have to work with the subset of the data uh, one by one we, we can simply work with the subset under this laplay function directly and that will give us the same result see um, all of these imputations are happening uh, similarly so what we are basically doing we are basically putting together our data set into separate formats in the list so basically this object is a list and inside this list we have five objects and what are those five objects those are the five different inputted data set that we initially extracted um, as one big data set but for the purposes of our analysis we do not want to use that one big data set anymore so we are putting the data sets into list format so five different data sets in 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 this list all right so let us um, move on to the analysis part now uh, we are creating a data list where we are going to save our um, fitting objects we specify our model the logistic model that we are going to fit and then we check the weights um, of um, the first inputted uh, data so in that first inputted data you see uh, there is a weight of zero and we can see that uh, about 550 um, data sets uh, 550 observations were associated with zero value zero weight value so we create our design but we understand that in all impressions we have some missing values as well um, therefore we need to create this uh, subset without those uh, missing values uh, or missing observations and then we um, fit our survey GLM model using the W design remember this W design has five different designs inside of it because we are dealing with five different data sets um, in our all imputations all right we we get some error message observations with zero weight that is precisely because we have some zero weights um, not to worry too much so the odds ratio for diabetes is 1.49 and here is the confidence interval that you can extract and this is only from the uh, first data set and similarly you can do the same for the second data set uh, but all we really want is to get the pooled estimate and to get the pooled estimate we use the mi combine and we use the summary function to get all of the beta coefficients and to get the odds ratio we can simply exponentiate it or we can uh, calculate the odds ratio confidence interval significance level separately and then we can stack them together here what we have done is that we have used a design um, where um, we fitted our survey glm within the design directly where in this design we had five design uh, in this uh, w design but we can try to separate out our um, analysis as well um, to do that for each of the five data set what we can do is we can extract the first uh, imputation data and using that first imputation data we can create the first design and using the first design we can calculate the um, subset based on the um, who had missing values or not and based on that design 
then we calculate the survey GLM. So you see we are oper performing multiple steps under this for loop and at the end of it we basically have a vector where uh, or list uh, where we are saving all of the fits together and I am asking to print all of the fits and it is printing all of the fits one by one so that I can check all of the fits individually. Once I do that I can simply do the MI combine for the fits and this is the beta coefficients but if you want to check the odds ratio directly you can set log effect equal to true and these will give you the odds ratios see the diabetes odds ratio previously we have seen 1.49 and here we are seeing 1.5 um, after rounding I guess so the last part of this lab is more about the variable selection so when we split our data set it is very easy now to do a multi-step uh, process so in here what we are doing is that we are uh, working with each of the imputations one by one so first we work with the first inputted data set and then we use a for loop to work on the second inputted data set then third inputted then fourth inputted then fifth inputted data set um, the benefit is that uh, this is basically the analysis that we have done before 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 doing the multiple imputation right in in a single data set when we were working on a single data set so this is basically one single data set that we are extracting here so this analytic i is basically the analytic data that you have used before so within this for loop since we can perform a multi-step process uh, what we are doing here is that we are first fitting our logistic regression model and then we are using that fit to run the stepwise regression similarly you can imagine when you are working with a multi-step process you can also um, think of doing propensity score analysis within this once you have extracted your um, data set and all of the process that you have done uh, in the propensity score modeling um, that process will go into within this for loop and that's how you can uh, ultimately save the final fit in your data list and then you simply use the MI combine to combine your result but for this example since I'm doing variable selection I'm basically selecting all of the model fits here I do not need the odds ratio from this model all I need to see is whether any of these variables were selected or deselected after doing the stepwise and after saving all of them I try to extract the formula and then try to see which variables were selected in each of these five models and I see all of these variables were selected um, each five times so none of the variables got deleted um, out of this process.